welcome back to another metrology and measurement session the subject is about me 352 metrology and measurements my name is Pina Vinjas, assistant professor Rohini College of Engineering and Technology Department of Mechanical Engineer today we are going to start about the fifth unit advances in metrology this is the syllabus of the fifth unit advances in metrology in this unit we are going we are going to discuss about the various things about uh, laser in metrology so there are two phases in this uh, fifth unit and the first unit is about uh, all about the lasers laser which we are using in the metrology for uh, measuring the uh, object and uh, various laser and laser scan micrometers, laser interferometers, and the laser measure metrology applications. And uh, with the help of these lasers, we are going to find out the straightness and alignment of the uh, object. And in the second phase, it is entirely different. This second phase is about the usage of computer in the metrology and measurements. So uh, the measuring systems are computerized and it will be measured with the help of the various softwares to in this process and we are going to discuss about the coordinate measuring mission. So this is the second part or second phase and there's a subphase for this uh, second part and uh, the subphase is about uh, the mission vision system. Mission vision system and uh, so we are going to discuss about the various things in this fifth unit so this is the course outcome for this fifth unit this unit is about when we after the completion of this unit students can able to inspect the materials with the help of this advanced materials or advanced uh, measuring instruments we can the students can able to uh, check the materials with the help of these instruments and they can able to control the quality of the materials today we are going to discuss about a new topic laser interferometers laser interferometers already we studied about laser interferometer in the previous unit so again we are going to study about laser interferometer and we are going to study uh, study about its co components of laser interferometer so what is the laser interferometer we know about this and once again we are going to study about what is my interference and what is my coherent what is the use of the light rays and what is the use of the interference okay now we should know about the phenomenon of interaction of light is called interference interaction of the light light source is called interference for interference to occur the two light rays must be coherent so the interference or interaction or interference of the light source must be coherent. Then only it is called as a interference. Interferometers are investigative tools used in many fields of science and engineering. These interferometers are used as investigating tools in the many fields of science and engineering fields. The merging of two or more sources of light to create an interference pattern which can be measured and analyzed. So only it is called as a interferometer. So this is interferometer already we started in the second unit. So that's a mercury vapor light source and that's a condensing lens which is used to condense the light source and that is a green filter which clears the unwanted particles and it moves the light source into the pinhole and that's a reflector that's a reflector which is used to reflect the light source 
from the source which, which, which it occurs and it moves directly to the another point with the help of the collimating lens and the collimating lens which, which is used to collect all the light source and da moves directly to the particular reference plate or a slip gauge or the surface to be tested. So this is the working of the interferometer. And now we are going to see about the components of laser interferometer. So there are different components are there. Uh, four main components of laser interferometer meters are there. One is two frequency light source. Second one is optical element. Third one is laser head measurement receiver. Fourth one is measurement display. First one is two frequency light source. Two frequency light source is nothing but it is a helium neon laser light source. It is nothing but helium neon laser light source, which is called as a HENE type light source. This light source generally it is in a stable coherent light beam. So it is called as a helium neon light source. Laser light source. So, this laser is oscillated at two frequency by placing the laser in cylindrical permanent magnet. In two frequency, one is polarized horizontally and other is polarized vertically. This, in this two frequency light source, one laser light source is polarized horizontally and one polarized light source is polarized uh, one frequency light source which is polarized horizontally and another polarized light source which is which moves vertically. So two frequency waves allowed to pass through the quarter and a half wave plate that separates two frequency in two perpendicular direction. Next one is optical element. What is the optical element? There are three optical elements are there in the laser interferometer. One is beam splitter. It is, it is used to split the beam, uh, split the single beam into two elements. Second one is beam bender. It is used to, this beam bender is used to uh, bend the beam from one uh, direction to the other direction. And third one is retro reflectors. This retro reflectors is used to reflect the beams that it gets from one area and it reflected to the same area. That is called as retro reflectors. First one is beam splitter. It is used to split the beam into two. Okay, so one is on the same plane and another one is on the vertical plane. One is on the horizontal plane and one is on the vertical plane. So it is called as a beam splitter. Uh, the clear the clear view we can see this is a beam splitter. So the light source comes from one source, one, one, one plane and it moves horizontally and also it moves vertically. So this is the use of the beam splitter. Another one is beam bender. So in this figure, we, we can study clearly the beam bender. This beam bender gets the beam from one area and it bends to the other area. The light beam around corners of object from laser to each axis. It changes axis from one end to the other end. So next one is ritual reflectors. Here also in diagram it shows clearly the beam which comes from one point and it retro reflectors usage of this retro reflectors it reflects the beam to the other part. So which which, which means these uh, beams are parallel to the other beam. Okay, so first beam it moves from one end one place to other end, uh, to the retro reflector and it's parallelly moves to the same end of the reflection. So this is the working of the ritual reflectors. And next one is a laser head measurement receiver. Laser head measurement receiver. 
This, it is used to detect the path returning of a beam as F1 to F2. Difference between this frequency is called as the uh, this difference between this frequency which is F1 to the F2. This is the difference between the frequency. The difference between the first frequency to the second frequency is called is the used to detect the part of the returning beam. So here During the measurement, a laser beam is directed through optics in the measurement path and then returned to the laser head's measurement receiver. Laser head's measurement receiver is used to detect the part of the returning beam as F1 to F2 and a Doppler shifter frequency comprehend del F. Next one is measurement display. So measurement display has a microcomputer to compute and display results. The signals from the re reference receiver and the measurement receiver located in the laser head are counted in two separate pulse ca counters and subtracted. So necessary calculations are made and computer value is displayed. Other input signals for correction or temperature coefficient and expansions, air velocity, etc. So these things can be displayed with the help uh, in the measurement display. So by this topic, we are concluding this session. Thank you.